Welcome back to Dan's Pro Shop and a happy Thanksgiving to all you guys. Hey, I had a weird situation the other day that uh, at work, I always end up with these apprentices that, uh, you know, you have to kind of hold their hand and tell them how to live life, let alone do their job. So I was teaching this guy exactly the correlation between voltage and amperage you know the whole ohm's law thing you know the new king james bible to which us technical people live by we came across this particular instance that i thought you guys might find useful so as my buddy ave would say we're here at the healing bench so uh let's take a gander at exactly how we would find power or if you want to look it up in the books you would call wattage and i'm willing to bet there's a couple of people with an engineering exam next Friday that's going to Google this video. So, let's say, for instance, you're standing at Home Depot and you find this awesome electric heater that you know the old lady's going to love to put in the hallway because her feet get cold walking to the bathroom in the middle of the night. But this heater is advertised at 2,000 watts because that's how we rate electrical elements. Yeah, and the outlet in the hallway that you're planning on plugging this thing into here in North America, if you pledge allegiance to the same flag that I do, we have 120 volts at 60 hertz AC, okay, and a normal regular wall outlet at 14 gauge wire is available with 15 amps so in order to find our power the formula for power or wattage is volts times amps so in this particular instance 120 volts at 15 amps gives us a maximum that we can use at that outlet of 1800 watts so, I'm pretty sure that your old lady is going to be pretty upset whenever you come home all excited about finding this crazy 2,000 watt heater. Whenever you go and plug it in and instantly lose half of the electricity in your house. You know, the Wi-Fi goes out. The kids are all mad because now they can't play Call of Duty. So, this is one way of figuring that out. Or if you want to do something quickly, something that you can snap through in the aisle at the hardware store. You take the inverse of this equation and take your 2,000 watts and divide it by your available voltage. And that gives you an answer of 16.67 amps is what it would take to run that heater. So even if you don't get anything out of this, it might at very least save you a headache of coming home with something that you know that your house can't handle. So this one's to you fellas. Let me know.